Hello everyone. In this video of mensuration, we are going to take up two very important questions related to area of trapezium. In these questions, the length of all the sides is given, but the height of trapezium is not given to us. Further, there are two cases involved. Case 1, non-parallel sides are equal. Case 2, non-parallel sides are unequal. So let's see how we are going to first calculate the height of trapezium and then find the area of trapezium using formula. Let's now move to first question in which two non-parallel sides are equal and height is not given. The question is, two parallel sides of a trapezium are 58 cm and 42 cm. The other two sides are of equal length which is 17 cm. Find the area of trapezium. So, given to us is A is equal to 42 cm, B is equal to 58 cm and the other two equal sides are 17 cm to find area of trapezium. Now, in this question, two steps are involved. Step 1, find the height of the given trapezium with the help of construction. Step 2, find the area of trapezium. So, let's start with the solution. Let ABCD be the given trapezium in which AB is equal to 58 cm, CD is equal to 42 cm, AD is equal to 17 cm and BC also is equal to 17 cm. Now, we shall do some construction. First, through C, draw CF parallel to AD. Second, draw CE perpendicular to AB. Now, FB is equal to AB minus AF which is equal to 58 minus 42 which is equal to 16 centimeter. Since AD is parallel to CF and CD is parallel to AF, this implies AF CD is a parallelogram and AD is equal to CF is equal to 17 centimeter. Because AD is equal to CF, therefore CF is equal to 17 centimeter. BC is equal to 17 cm, FB is equal to 16 cm. Now, since CF is equal to BC is equal to 17 cm, therefore, triangle FBC is an isosceles triangle. Again, in an isosceles triangle FBC, as FB is a part of AB and CE is perpendicular to AB by construction, Therefore, we can say CE is perpendicular to FB. Now, when CE is perpendicular to FB and E is the midpoint of FB, therefore, FE is equal to half of FB, which is equal to half into 16 centimeter, which is equal to 8 centimeter. Now, in right angle triangle CEF, we know CF square is equal to FE square plus CE square by Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, 17 square is equal to 8 square plus CE square, which is equal to 289 is equal to 64 plus CE square. That is, CE square is equal to 289 minus 64, which is equal to 225. Now, CE is equal to root of 225, which is equal to 15 centimeter. That is our height. So, we can say the height of trapezium is 15 centimeter. Now, we have to find the area of trapezium. So, we know area of trapezium is equal to half in bracket A plus B into H. Now, we shall substitute all the values in the above formula and we will write half in bracket 42 plus 58 into 15 which is equal to half into 100 into 15 which is equal to 750 centimeter square. Therefore, the area of trapezium is equal to 750 centimeter square. Now, let's take up another question in which two non-parallel sides are unequal and height is not given to us. So, the question is, in a trapezium ABCD, AB is parallel to DC, AB is equal to 78 cm, CD is equal to 52 cm, AD is equal to 28 cm and BC is equal to 30 cm. Find the area of trapezium. 
So given in this question is AB is parallel to DC. AB is equal to 78 centimeter that is equal to B. CD is equal to 52 centimeter that is A. AD is equal to 28 centimeter and BC is equal to 30 centimeter to find area of trapezium. So now the three steps involved in this question are step one, find the area of triangle formed by construction. Step two, find the height of the given trapezium with the help of construction. Step three, find the area of trapezium. Now let's start with the first step that is to find the area of triangle formed by construction. Let ABCD be the given trapezium in which AB is equal to 78 centimeter that is B, CD is equal to 52 centimeter that is A, AD is equal to 28 centimeter which is equal to C and BC is equal to 30 centimeter which is equal to D. Now we shall do some construction. Through C, draw CF parallel to AD and draw CE perpendicular to AB. Now FB is equal to AB minus AF which is equal to 78 minus 52 which is equal to 26 centimeter. Since AD is parallel to CF and CD is parallel to AF, AFCD is a parallelogram and AD is equal to CF. Because AD is equal to CF, we can say CF is equal to 28 centimeters, BC is equal to 30 centimeter, FB is equal to 26 centimeter. Now, since all the sides of triangle FBC are unequal, therefore FBC is a scalene triangle with height CE. Further, we will find the area of triangle FBC which is formed by construction. Now, we shall use the formula of semi-perimeter. Now, in triangle FBC, we have semi-perimeter equal to half in bracket A plus B plus C, which is equal to half CF plus FB plus BC, which is equal to half in bracket 28 plus 26 plus 30, which is equal to half into 84, which is equal to 42 centimeter. So, our semi-perimeter is 42 centimeter. Further, we will write S minus A is equal to 42 minus 28, which is equal to 14 centimeter. S minus B is equal to 42 minus 26 centimeter is equal to 16 centimeter. S minus C is equal to 42 minus 30, that is 12 centimeter. Now the area of triangle FBC is equal to root of S in bracket S minus A into S minus B into S minus C which is equal to root of 42 into 14 into 16 into 12. Further, we will find the factors. We will write root of 6 into 7 into 7 into 2 into 4 into 4 into 6 into 2. Further, we will solve and we will write 6 into 7 into 2 into 4, which is equal to 336 centimeter square. So, we can say, therefore, the area of triangle FBC is equal to 336 centimeter square. Now we shall find the height of the given trapezium with the help of construction. So we also know the area of triangle FBC can also be written as half into FB into C. Therefore, half into 26 into CE is equal to 336. Therefore, CE is equal to 336 into 2 divided by 26 we have cross multiplied which is equal to 336 upon 13 centimeter that is our height. So the height of the trapezium is 336 upon 13 centimeter. Now once we get, got the height of the trapezium we can find the area of trapezium. So area of trapezium is equal to half in bracket A plus B into H. Now we shall substitute all the values in the above formula and we'll get half in bracket 52 plus 78 into 336 upon 13. Further, we will write half into 130 into 336 upon 13, which is equal to 1680 centimeter square. Therefore, we can say the area of trapezium is equal to 1680 centimeter square. So, this is how we have solved two cases of 
area of trapezium. Thank you everyone.